On this week's news update, widespread flooding in the UK, remembering Katherine Johnson, and introducing Shimon, a robot musician. First up, parts of the UK are suffering from extreme flooding after three major storms hit the country in just one month. The storms brought strong winds and heavy rain. It's been the wettest February on record in the UK. Temporary flood barriers were built along some rivers to stop them overflowing. But in some places, like here in Ironbridge, Shropshire, there was so much rain that the barriers broke. The flooding has damaged many homes, disrupted travel, and caused some schools to close. People have been evacuated from the worst affected areas. As the cleanup begins, many scientists are warning that climate change is likely to make extreme weather events like this more common. Next up, pioneering mathematician Katherine Johnson has died at the age of 101. She was one of the first African-American women to work as a NASA scientist. Katherine was born in 1918 in West Virginia. From a young age, she loved math. In 1953, Katherine joined NASA. There, she used her math skills to analyze data from test flights and to plan the paths that spacecraft should follow. Her work helped send the first astronauts to the moon in 1969. Catherine retired from NASA in 1986. In 2015, President Barack Obama recognized her achievements by awarding her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In her 33 years at NASA, Catherine was a pioneer who broke the barriers of race and gender showing generations of young people that everyone can excel in math and science and reach for the stars. And finally, it's Tech Beat. My song of you. This is Shimon's debut music video. And this is Shimon, a robot. Shimon was developed by a team at Georgia Tech University. They used a process called deep learning to teach the robot to write songs. This means they programmed Shimon to study music written by people and to look for patterns in it. And then to follow those patterns to create new songs. By trying out different approaches again and again, Shimon's songwriting gradually improved although human colleagues did help compose the tunes. Shimon and the band are now working on an album. And they're even planning a tour. So, would you listen to music written and sung by a robot? That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for the latest science news every Thursday.